Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Pisces, forgive my voice. I'm losing it. <laughs> but uh, as you guys know that I do have my sinus issues. It comes and goes. So um, I know this is kind of stuffy right now, so please bear with me. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Pisces today. Show me more. Pisces, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be you or the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with. There's somebody here with the Five of Cups feeling really regretful over what had happened to the both of you in the past here, okay? Could be you feeling this way or your person. But we've got the Queen of Swords here. Uh, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't really matter what sign. We all could embody any of these energies. I'm also seeing um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Wow. So, okay, there are multiple people here, and I'm also seeing three of ones. For those of you in a third party situation, I feel like somebody could be regretting, could be a person regretting over putting you in a third party situation, and also because they could have lost both of you, you and the third party. Again, the roles can be switched, okay? Temperance is in reverse here. May not have been an equal give and take sort of relationship, or not a very well balanced, not a w very well balanced relationship, or that it could mean there's some sort of disharmony between you and somebody. I feel like with the Empress in reverse, it may indicate somebody whom is divorced, or that somebody whom used to be a wife or a husband, but no longer wanting to take up on that role. Okay, whatever the role it could be, but definitely an energy of someone whom could have been very nurturing, very caring, very giving but starting to lose their patience here and could be thinking about closing out the old chapter and starting a new chapter with the world card here, okay? Three of Wands is right here. Pisces, for those of you who are single, I feel like um, single and looking, okay? Three of Wands may indicate that your ship is going to sail in soon, but you need to take actions. Four Swords is in reverse here. You need to take actions because we've got the also the... Um, Queen of Wands here in reverse. Something about just stop standing there and just looking, but actually take actions towards it. Perhaps, you know, meeting other people and dating other people, putting yourself out there. That's what I'm getting here. Pisces, you could be dealing with a Virgo energy. I definitely sense for those of you, uh, if you're going through some issues with somebody right now or going through separation, feels like somebody could be um, feeling with the five cups. You're really disappointed over what had happened. Could be feeling remorseful ever since that they were being cut off here, okay? Because the Queen of Swords is a very cutting energy. Someone may have cut somebody off here, may be upset, may have their guards up. And because of that, I feel like someone is starting to regret over what had happened or what they did. Could be with a, um, with a hermit here, uh, Pisces, I feel like someone could be diving deeper into how they truly feel or reflecting over what had happened, soul searching. So let's see more. For those of you, Pisces, if, you, if you're looking forward for somebody to return to you or if you're thinking about returning to somebody, there will be a communication in regards to that because you've got the Eight of Wands and the Judgment here as well. So somebody may be trying to hash things out or meet you face to face and wanting to reconcile. Eight of Pentacles perhaps there's an energy of somebody wanting to work on this connection. For those of you, Pisces, um, uh, Spirit is also trying to say to focus on your work, yeah, for some of you, that's a side message there. And also we've got the Fool in Reverse. Spirit is definitely saying that if there is a chance of recon uh, reconciliation with somebody, Spirit says that this person needs to work on themselves first before doing so. If not, you know, something that could have happened in the past may repeat itself, okay? Whether it's you or your person. We've got the high priestess in reverse here. This may indicate breaking of a, si a silence being broken, as in someone breaking silence, okay? Wanting to talk. So I do sense like someone may be wanting to talk to you, breaking the silence. 
but at the same time there could be a little bit of delay that I'm seeing here with the Nine of Swords here and the first um, Libra Gemini Libra Gemini Aquarius energy a delay in speaking a delay in communicating and also there's an energy of somebody focusing on their work and trying to forget you or it could be you trying to forget somebody there's an energy of someone pulling back a little bit here although really desperately wanting to speak wanting to open up communication but afraid that it might be a mistake with a fool here in reverse okay let's see more got the three of cups here in reverse and also we've got the hangman hangman in reverse as well as well as the knight of swords in reverse mm -hmm. it just feels like somebody here really really wants to talk really wants to reconcile really wants to get back together but they're not speaking up but looks like they are going to eventually okay whether it's you or your person um, I feel like that's unavoidable no matter how much somebody is resisting in speaking or resisting in communicating I feel like it's going to happen uh, eventually okay there's two eights here eight of pentacles and eight of wands could be within eight days eight weeks or on the longest eight months I hope it's not that long but um, Oh yeah, Pisces, if you'd like to check out your angel number 88, you can go ahead and Google 88 angel numbers. There could be some messages for you over there. Nine of Cups. Spirit is definitely saying to, for those of you who are single, okay, Nine of Cups, Spirit is definitely saying to indulge and in whatever that makes you happy. And also, again, I do see an, a message here saying to put yourself out there if you really want to meet somebody new, okay? Unless you're contented just being by yourself with the Nine of Cups. For some of you, you may be just content, be feeling contented just being by yourself. Then what, whatever the case is, that's your choice. And also, we've got the Queen of cups here in reverse there's an energy this is you yeah Pisces you could have been dealing with somebody whom is still not ready to settle or because we've got the nine of ones here in reverse this person may be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo can be any sign seeing Libra Gemini Aquarius here as well this person may not have been mature like emotionally not mature yet not as mature as you are or that still wants to still unable to commit or it could go vice versa, yeah, Pisces. All right, Pisces, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a playlist on the screen right now. This is the playlist from my second vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'm open for personal readings. Only for two more days, I'm going to close it because I need to take a break. But if you're interested, my information is in the description box below. And Pisces, I post your videos almost every single day. However, at different timing, if you'd like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Pisces. Bye.